Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL, women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. In this video slash podcast, I'll be discussing the NWSL regular season match between the Orlando Pride and Angel City FC. This has been a pretty busy week in women's soccer. We had the Women's Champions League second leg quarterfinals, roster announcements for the upcoming international break, and of course, NWSL weekend. Anyway, the Orlando Pride are coming off of a 4-0 loss to the Portland Thorns, while Angel City are coming off of a 2-1 loss to Gotham FC. So the Pride are not off to the best start this season, but I think it was always going to be a struggle when it comes to playing against the Portland Thorns. I think I was a little too hopeful <laughs> thinking that match between the Pride and the Thorns could have gone either way. One of the things that game showed was... There's a lot that the Pride is still needing to work on if they want to be successful this season. Starting off with the backline and goalkeeping. There needs to be better support in the backline. There needs to be more awareness and focus. Communication between the defenders and Anna Morehouse, the goalkeeper, has to be better than what we saw in the match against the Thorns. If Morehouse smacks the ball away and it's still in the box, it's not safe. The back line needs to clear it. They need to get it out before the opposing team can score on the rebound, which is what happened a lot (laughs) against the Portland Thorns. There needs to be better organization in the back line. Earlier this week, the Pride signed Tori Hansen and Brianna Martinez to defenders, which is great. We have a lot of new signings, but what I think the Pride is needing more of is experience in the back line. We have Kylie Strom, Megan Montefusco, and Celia, who are experienced defenders. I think they are needing to take charge when they are on the pitch and provide guidance to the new defenders slash new signings. Now, moving on to the midfield and attack. We didn't really get to see much of the attack in midfield in the match against the Thorns. We saw what it could be. I did see some potential in the attack in midfield, but one of the important things the midfield is needing to do is keep possession and control the midfield. The pride midfield needs to be more confident and they have to keep possession. When it came to the Thorns match, the pride couldn't really go forward with their attack because they couldn't keep possession. If the pride wants to create attacking chances, they must keep possession as much as possible. When it comes to the pride attack, There's definitely potential there, but it all goes back to possession and control. The forwards and strikers can't do much if the team as a whole can't keep possession. Drinking game. Drink every time I say possession. (laughs) When it comes to this match against Angel City, it's going to be a tough one. It's definitely going to be a challenge. If the Pride wants to be successful in this match, if they want to win this match, all areas need to be solid. Backline and defense needs to be alert and aware. They have to communicate with each other and the goalkeeper. The midfield needs to keep possession and fight to get it back when it's lost. If we can keep possession, then we can create more chances for the pride attack. I would like to see the pride be on the be on the attack for this match and not get stuck having to play defensively like against the Thorns. That all being said, let's get into the lineup for this match. All right, so the lineup. 4-3-3 or 4-2-3-1. Not sure if this is done by position. It's not by number, <laughs> nor is it in alphabetical order. This could be by position. Um, was it like this the last time? So we have Morehouse in the goal for defenders, Abello, McCutcheon, Madril, Cosme, and Strom. In the midfield in attack, we have Clough, Timrak, Watt, Doyle, and Adriana. So just want to add, no Martha for this match. She's out due to injury, but it's not a serious one like a knee or ACL injury. She'll probably be back after the international break, which is good. Going back to the lineup, yeah, I'm not sure if this is done by position. If it is, then we have Abello playing in the defense, which she can do, but I prefer her in the attack or midfield with Doyle. I'm not entirely sure where Strom will be playing, She could be playing as a defender or in the midfield. If she is in the midfield, she'll be able to support Clough and Adriana and help and help them drive the attack forward. Abello can also do that as well. She connects pretty well with Doyle, which is why I prefer her up top. 
When it comes to Strom, she also does pretty well building from the back, but she does need to get back there to support the back line when it's needed. I think I would have gone with Celia or Montefusco for this one since they are experienced defenders. When it comes to the midfield and attack, hopefully we can get Adriana on the ball a little more. I was really impressed with her in the match against Portland. I'm interested to see how she'll play with Watt and Tamarack. For this match, I want to see good defending, good support in the back line, and good connection between the midfield and attack and between attacking players. Now, let's get into the first half. Alright, so the first half, we are off. So we're not in a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1, we're in a 4-4-2. It's good that we're trying different formations, but you have to be careful with that. You run the risk of driving your players a little batty. When Fareed Ben Stiddy was coaching OL Reign, he did different formations, but would play players in different positions, and they just couldn't click or find a good rhythm. Anyway, one minute ball in the Pride box kicked away. Pride has to be careful. Angel City is coming out with a very quick and aggressive attack. Ball to the Pride box chased out by Strom. Here comes Adriana. I love her. She is just so quick and so good on the ball. Tim Rack cross, no one taps it in. Funny enough, there were players there. Not sure why no one was able to tap that in. Two minutes, Tim Rack attempts, saved. Ball to the Pride box, Strom chases it down. Three minutes, good recovery by the Pride. Ball in the Angel City box, collected by the keeper. Four minutes, Tim Rack to Adriana, kicked away. Doyle cross, collected by the keeper. Five minutes, good defunding by Strom. Angel City cross, goes wide, kicked away. Six minutes, Angel City corner kick headed over. Let's do better, Pride. Like, you're doing great up to this point. <laughs> Ball to the Pride box, Angel City, McCaskill chasing, offsides. Pride back line needs to be aware of those long overhead balls that, tr that go behind the back line. Seven minutes, Adriana on the ball, kicked away. Eight minutes, Strom up to Doyle, be into it by the keeper. Watt steals it away. Watt attempt, Heracic saves. For a moment, I actually forgot the name of Angel City's goalkeeper. <laughs> Nine minutes, Pride corner kick caught by Heracic. Good aggressive attack by the Pride. Pride, um, Pride foul, late challenge, Angel City ball. Does this announcer actually like soccer or the Orlando Pride? Like, this is the same one from the Thorns Pride match. 10 minutes, Angel City cross, kicked away, good defending. Ball towards the Pride box, kicked away by Morehouse. 11 minutes, good block by the Pride. Angel City cross, goes wide. Angel City cross again, headed away. 12 minutes, good defending by Strom. 13 minutes, Angel City cross, defended away. Some more good defending by Strom. 14 minutes, Angel City offsides, pride ball. All right, let's try to keep possession. Good control by Adriana. 15 minutes, ball in the Angel City box, kicked away. Announcer, pride needs better quality, as in better quality players. Dude, our players are fine. Leave them alone. 16 minutes, ball in the pride box, collected by Morehouse. 17 minutes, Angel City Thompson attempt goes over. It's funny because the announcer criticized Watts' attempt on goal, even though it was on target. But Tom Thompson skies it, and the announcer is praising it. <laughs> 18 minutes, ball towards the pride box, kick back to Morehouse. Doyle down, slammed into the advertising wall. Doyle in a lot of, in a lot of pain. Nielsen, yellow card. Announcer said it was a harsh yellow card. Um, no, it's not. There may not have been any malice, but that is reckless every day. Trainer's out to check on Doyle. She seems to be okay. She's getting helped off. That's not good. Um, 22 minutes, pride substitution. Doyle out, bright in. So in upside, we have Bright, Watt, and Adriana now. Hopefully, Doyle is going to be okay. 23 minutes, ball up to Adriana, collected by Heracic. 24 minutes, Strom fouled, pride ball. Ball sent into the Angel City box, collected by Heracic. Should have done more with that, as in she should have been a little bit more patient. 25 minutes, Strom cross goes wide, just needed to be a little bit lower. Ball sent into the Angel City box, goes out. 26 minutes, ball to the pride box, collected by the pride. Tim Rack fouled, pride ball. Strom cross... Watt close, or a Watt attempt close, couldn't get a foot on it, goes out. 
27 minutes, good recovery by the Pride. 28 minutes, strong fouls, Angel City Ball. 20, 29 minutes, good fight by Adriana. Love her. Adriana fouls, Angel City Ball. 31 minutes, Clough Cross blocked. Clough Cross smacked away by Heracic. Strom just misses it. Angel City on the attack. Angel City attempt blocked. 32 minutes, bright pressure on Heracic. Cleared. Uh, 33 minutes, McCutcheon loses it. Ball to the pride box, headed away. 34 minutes, ball up to bright. Bright chasing, kicked away. Adriana making a run. Adriana attempt blocked. Needs to be a little bit quicker on that release. Ball towards the pride box, defended away by Madrill. Good. Angel City foul, pride ball. 36 minutes, ball in the pride box. Thompson chasing, Madrill fouls, takes takes out her legs. Yellow card, Madrill. 37 minutes, Angel City penalty kick. Damn it. We were doing so well up to this point. Morehouse goes the wrong way. Angel City scores. Angel City, 1-0. Okay, Pride, let's turn up the heat. Aggressive attack, lots of pressure. Let's tie it up. 40th minute, long ball to the Pride box, collected by Morehouse. Clough foul, really? Angel City ball. 41 minutes, good recovery and defending by Watts. 42 minutes, strong foul, Pride ball. Adriana fouled. Um, pride ball, pride free kick outside the box. Adriana sends it in, had it away. Sent in again, defended away. Sent in for the third time, collected by Heracic. 44 minutes, long ball to the pride box, kicked away. Angel City foul or offsides, pride ball. Timrak to Watt, kicked away. Timrak plays it up, defended away, looking for an opening. Six minutes of added time. 45 minutes, ball sent into the Angel City box, goes wide. 46 minutes, Clough fouled, pride free kick. McCutcheon cross, blocked, sent in, blocked. Have you guys worked on your crosses and services? <laughs> Announcer on Angel City. Even the forward players are defending all the way back. Um, Would you like me to introduce you to O.L. Reign, Fafel Wolfsburg, the German women's national team, Alex Pop, Bethany Bosser? Forwards dropping back to defend is not a foreign concept. That's actually a really good thing. I know quite a few forwards, mostly on the mostly in Germany, who do drop back to help defend. Um, Alex Pop, Clara Bull, Leah Schuller, Lena Magel, Tavea Vosmuk, Gila Brin. Like they play as forwards, but they definitely will drop back to defend when it's needed. It's probably a, a requirement. <laughs> Anyway, 47 minutes, Angel City Thompson attempt, good save by Morehouse. 48 minutes, Adriana making a run, Adriana attempt off the post, Watt on the rebound, goes wide. Allie, you really are a rain player, huh? <laughs> How does she not put that in? 49 minutes, ball up for Bright, collected by Heracich, ball in the pride box, kicked away by Morehouse. 50th minute, Strom to Adriana, kicked away, then whistle blown, first half ends, pride, nil one. Okay, besides that stupid penalty, which was very fair, and the announcer, the pride are doing very well. This is an upgrade from the pride's first match against the Thorns, a complete overhaul from that match. Defense looks good. I do think there still needs to be better communication between the back line and Morehouse. Yeah, that still needs work. The back line needs to be careful when it comes to long balls and overhead passes into the pride box or behind the back line. The back line needs to make adjustments when Angel City is trying to get behind the back line. Uh, Madril is doing well, but she needs support when Angel City does get into the pride box. Besides that, it's all right. When it comes to the midfield and attack, there's good movement and control in the midfield. The Pride are doing a lot better at keeping possession and controlling the midfield. They're creating some good chances for the attack. The attack is also creating some good chances as well. We're getting really close to scoring, but we need to work on our finishing, much like a while rain. Yeah, this is good from the Pride, a very drastic improvement. Yes, there is. there are still things we need to work on. Yes, we're down one. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a challenge a challenging match, but this is just so much better from the Pride. Keep up the good work and hang in there. Props to Madril, Strom, and Adriana. They they did so well in this first half. Again, would like to see Adriana on the ball a little more. Anyway, let's get into the second half. All right, so the second half, we are off. 
45 minutes bought to the Angel City box kicked back to Heritage. 46 minutes bought to the Angel City box kicked away. Tim Rack fouled, pulled down, pride ball. Yellow card for Hammond, who is a former OL Reign player. Um, 47 minutes bought in the Angel City box, had it away. Ball sent in for McCutcheon. Watt can't get on it. Pride attempt cleared. 49 minutes, bright fouls, bodies in Angel City player off the ball. Angel City ball. We need more of that aggression. Maybe not maybe not the aggression that involves getting f fouls, but yeah, just more aggression from the pride attack in midfield. 50th minute ball up for Bright. Bright is running. Yep, she's running. Here Cheech going for it. Bright scores past her. Pride 1-1. One, one. Yes, yes. Messiah Bright, let's go. 51 minutes. Here comes Pride again. Bright over to Watt. Watt crosser attempt goes wide. Come on, Allie. 52 minutes. Here comes Bright. Bright over to Watt. Watt skies it. Come on, Allie. You're not at OL Reign. Be patient. Also, Bright, be selfish. I think Bright could have made an attempt on goal with that. 53 minutes. Pride cross. Kicked away. Sent in again. Cleared. 54 minutes. Ball headed off to Bright. Kicked away. Strom fouls. Holding. Strom yellow card. That's a yellow card every day. 56 minutes, good defending by Clough. Angel City cross, defended away. 57 minutes, ball in the pride box, kicked away. 58 minutes, pride making a run. Watt plays it up, kicked away. Bright cross, misses Adriana. Close, needed support there. 68 minute, good defending by the pride, gets it away. 61 minutes, Adriana fouled, pride ball. Adriana cross, blocked. 62 minutes, pride corner kick, headed away. Strom flying in, collision between Strom and an Angel City player. Both are down, trainers out to check on them. Strom seems to be okay. Um, thinks she's going to be coming back in. I think the Angel City player is going to be coming back in too. The reason why they both came off for a bit was because it was a head collision. 65 minutes, game starts up again. Watt attempt from outside goes over. Come on, Allie. 66 minutes, long ball to the pride box, headed away. Angel City cross, Angel City attempt goes wide. Morehouse, your positioning needs to be better. 67 minutes, pride substitution, Timrak out, Summer Yates in. Angel City foul or offsides, pride ball. 68 minutes, Clough fouls, Angel City ball. 69 minutes, Angel City attempt, good save by Morehouse. 70th minute, Angel City corner kick, finally cleared. Um, Pride making a run. McCutcheon cross kicked away. 71 minutes. Pride corner kick. Bright heads it over. Very close though. Adriana cross. Yates sends it over. Okay, Pride. I think it's fair to say that we need to work on our finishing. 72 minutes. Adriana cross kicked away. Angel City. McCaskill making a run. Defended away. Pride counterattack kicked away. 73 minutes. Angel City making a run. McCutcheon kicks it away. Good. Sent in. Kicked away again. Sent in again, cleared. 74 minutes, Angel City cross, cleared. Good block by Madrill. 75 minutes, Angel City cross goes out. Ball to the pride box, headed away. Clough to Bright, taken away, not enough behind it. 76 minutes, ball outside the pride box, kicked away. Angel City fouls in the pride box. 77 minutes, ball up to Strom, goes out. Ball towards the pride box, headed away. McCutcheon fouled, pride ball. Ball up to Watt, headed away. 78 minutes, pride foul or offsides, I guess, Angel City ball. 79 minutes, Angel City cross goes to Morehouse. McCutcheon gives it away, Cosme fouls Charlie. 80th minute, Angel City free kick outside the D. Morehouse, you better save this. Angel City attempt on the free kick goes over. Never mind. Pride defensively, let's try to get it together in these final few minutes. 82 minutes, Angel City, Charlie still down. She's coming off now, can't continue. Hopefully she's okay. Angel City has a lot of injuries right now. Or a lot of players out with injuries, I mean. 83 minutes, game starts up again. Okay, Pride, let's finish this strong. 84 minutes, Adriana up to McCutcheon, kicked away. 85 minutes, ball to the Pride box, kick back to Morehouse. Just want to say, there's like a lot of back and forth between Angel City and the pride it's like angel city will attack the pride will launch their counterattack. angel city will counterattack. pride will launch their own counterattack. there's a lot of back and forth between these two it's very exciting but hard to follow <laughs> 
Anyway, 85 minutes, ball to the pride box, kick back to Morehouse. 86 minutes, Angel City Cross defended away. Okay, so they're saying it is a, P a penalty kick because McCutcheon went down and broke her fall with her arm. The ball hit her arm, and so they're saying that's a penalty. That's, well, not them. It's the ref. The ref is saying that's a penalty. That's not fair. It's like she just broke her fall. It wasn't an intentional handball. That's not a handball at all. She just broke her fall. Honestly, that's a BS call. Angel City penalty kick. Yeah, that's just straight up BS. 88 minutes. Angel City takes the penalty. Morehouse saves it. Oh my god, what a save. <laughs> 89 minutes, Pride on the attack, Pride cross saved. Angel City cross now, kicked away. Angel City corner kick saved by Morehouse. Another big save by Morehouse. Eight minutes of added time, of course. 90th minute, ball up for Watt, goes to Hayarchich. Ball in the Angel City box, kicked away. 91 minutes, Angel City cross defended away. 92 minutes, Bright plays it up to herself, <laughs> um, defended away. Madrid takes out McCaskill in the box. She concedes another penalty. Emily, your reaction time needs to be better than that. That is just very bad defending. Like, I would be annoyed if I was still goalkeeping. Like, I know I'm supposed to save you guys, but save me too. Jeez. <laughs> Wait, so they're checking if it's offsides. Okay, no penalty. It's offsides. Good. That could have been very bad if it was onsides. 93 minutes. Pride substitution, Listro in, Clough out. Adriana making a run, kicked away. 95 minutes, Pride corner kick, goes wide. Strom making a run, 96 minutes, Strom cross, goes wide. Needs support, someone should have been there. 97 minutes, Angel City attempt, Morehouse saves. 98 minutes, Angel City cross, kicked away. 99 minutes, Angel City corner kick, goes wide. Good defending by the Pride. 100 minutes, Angel City corner kick, uh, Angel City scores. Angel City, 2-1, damn it. And to the announcer, can you stop blaming Morehouse for one minute? Honestly, I would blame my back line for that. Also, Morehouse had a great game. She was solid, even saving a penalty. Then whistleblown second half ends, Pride loses 1-2. All right, so I don't care what anyone says, the Pride may have lost, but they played so well tonight. This is a step up from the match against the Portland Thorns. The team as a whole was great. We were on the attack. There was great control in the midfield. We created great chances on goal, except the Pride were going through what happened to Oa Rain in their match against the Washington Spirit and also last season. They couldn't finish. <laughs> I counted two or three chances in the second half. There could have been more. If the Pride converted them, then they would have been ahead. Then we may have even won. The Pride put up a good fight. The attack in midfield looks good. They just need more touching up. They need to improve more, and I definitely believe they will as the season goes on. Adriana and Bright look great. Ali Watt has OL Rain blood still. In other words, she needs to work on her finishing. It's like, yay, we got an OL Rain forward. Yeah, you may want to check their finishing ability. I know from experience. <laughs> Anyway, moving on to the back line. I went for a run before doing a write-up on the Pride back line. Starting off, Anna Morehouse in goal was great, and the back line did pretty well. They definitely improved since the Thorns match. However, there are still things that they're needing to work on. Communication between one another and the goalkeeper, and organization. Emily Madrill made a few questionable challenges. The first one led to an Angel City penalty kick. The second tackle could have led to a second penalty kick if it wasn't offsides. She is a good and confident defender. Kind of reminds me of Phoebe McLaren when she played for the Pride. But she needs to do better. Her timing needs to be better. T tonight may not have been her night. Hopefully she works on that moving forward. When it comes to the rest of the back line, McCutcheon was great when it came to pressing in the attack. Same with Kylie Strom. But both of them are needing to, um, both of them are needing to make sure they can get back there to support the defense when it's needed. They tend to get pretty high upfield and wind up leaving Cosme and Madrill in the box when Angel City launched their counterattacks. 
Is there a way we can get the ball to the attack and midfield players without compromising our defense and leaving us open to attacks and counterattacks? Just something I was thinking about after I got back from my run. For now, I'm just going to leave it at that. So no NWSL schedule for this week. We'll be entering into an international break where the U.S. Women's National Team will be playing Ireland in two friendlies. So that is all I have for you guys today or tonight, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.